Oh, what's that, babe? I know, you give the best. Oh, hi there. Today we're talking about the person who enabled me to have that conversation. What's going on, guys? Today we're talking about a guy named Craig McCall, and uh, he's basically a billionaire. This guy started his career as a basic cable installation man because his father owned a company which he worked for. As his father passed, he actually took control of the company and then made that larger. And a uh, little bit of a side note, it was sold to Comcast a few years later. Or at least what would be known as Comcast in the future. But anyway, let's get back to what makes this guy a true billionaire. Remember back in the 1980s when everyone was uh, snatching up uh, cell phone licenses to sell them in places and create companies? Uh, this guy was one of those people. And not only did he snatch up a license for himself, he went around taking license from everybody else by undervaluing them and then buying them up. The man was like an evil Sith Lord. You will give me your cell phone licensing. This guy used his cable company as a kickstand to start everything off with a cell phone company. He borrowed from it and then he, uh, he bought out everybody else. I mean, the guy just, he knew what to do. He probably went to college for something. I'm not really gonna look that up. It's almost a guaranteed he did. Okay, he didn't go to college. A little fact that nobody knows is that in 1990, he was actually the highest paid CEO in the United States. Wow. You learn new things every day. Now, continuing the story of this guy, he, uh, he, he took his little, little cell phone company and decided, hey, I'm gonna make this grow. So he did that, and it got a little popular, just a little bit. And then, um, sometime around the mid-1990s, he went ahead and sold it to AT&T for $11.5 billion. I like your Sputnik, kid. Give me that company for $11.5 billion. Okay. The 11.5 billion, they uh, basically absorbed that and uh, they called themselves at t Wireless. 2004, they switched to Singular and for some reason, they switched right back. But the point is, the man knows what to do with himself. He knows what to do with his companies. He knows what to do with his money. If I'm looking for financial advice, I'm going to this guy. And then this guy didn't say, you know what, I'm going to retire because now I'm very rich. No, what he said was, Hey, you see that company called uh, Nextel? We're going to go ahead and just, you know, promote them as well. Oh, oh, they're getting big now? Oh, okay. No biggie. So this guy's a majority stockholder in Nextel as well now. And, and needless to say, this guy, he's done everything he needs to do. You can just sit back in your recliner and watch your money flow in. To date, the man is worth $1.65 billion. Yeah, yeah, that's a lot of money. Can I borrow 10 bucks? For any more information concerning this man, look in the links below. It's time to see what you guys had to say about last week's question of the week. There aren't that many. Well, if you'd like to be in next week's video, just go ahead and answer the question of the week. And it is... What would you do with $1.65 billion? I would buy the most expensive toilet ever. And never use it. That's all for this week's video. I'll see you next week. Peace out. <laughs>